come spend the day with me at Toledo Botanical Garden, one of Toledo's metro parks. First, I had to get ready and beautify myself with my new palette. Now, we're arriving, so let's get started, because with over 60 acres of plants and sculptures, I can't wait to get started. And according to their own website, gardens, art, and learning blend beautifully at this beautiful park, botanical garden, whatever you want to call it. And as we arrive, as you can see, it's already welcoming me with beautiful blooms. We have a little greenhouse over there that I didn't get a very good shot of. But I mean, the beauty just starts the minute you walk out your car and start walking on the little trails that they have. And then as you continue to walk, you're going to see many, many different little um, little garden areas. And as you just seen, I showed you my, um, that was my fortune cookie because it said beauty will surround me. That was a real one I got a few weeks ago. And look, I'm now surrounded by beauty. So I had to include that one. But as you can see, there is plenty of benches and there's even little tables that you can stop and enjoy the scene. I had to stop right over here by this water because this was one of my favorite spots right here. You can sit right on this bench and look out and that view was spectacular. And in case you didn't notice, there's a lot of corn around here, a lot of corn. And again, according to their own website, this is a place for tranquility and opportunities. And I definitely can see it. It was very tranquil. And actually, it was kind of busy today. But as you can see, it's so big. People are spread out. So I didn't have to worry about having to get a bunch of random strangers in my videos. And if you're curious, this is also an accessible park for a sensory experience. So that is definitely a good feature for me as I have lots of family that would definitely benefit from that part of it. And as you can see, we have a lot of beautiful sculptures here because this park right here isn't just a botanical garden, but it's also a center for art. It's nestled between two of Toledo's public school districts, and this is just a beautiful area. And as you can see, we have like these little artisan villages right here, or little gardens as I call them. And they have their own little flowers. And a lot of the flowers even have little plaques right there that tell you what they are. So you can get a little bit of information on them. But I really felt like I was at the garden of a castle is what it felt like to me. And that reminded me of Kermit the Frog over there, like a little pond with little rocks. But yeah, I, look, this part right here is probably one of my favorites because this is like I'm at a castle. I felt like I was in a house of dragon myself, Game of Thrones or whatever. I should have popped out a sword and got to playing. I'll save that for next time though. I think I will have to take my blonde or silver wig so I can be a Targaryen whenever I go next time, see if anybody stares at me. Now, also on their website, you can find all the different plants that are in bloom in what season. So if I wanted to see what's in bloom late June, early July, you can head over to that website. You can see all the plants that you can be expecting. Uh, clearly corn, because again, I've seen a lot of corn. And well, this was my day. And trust me, I didn't even get to all of it. Loves it.